Moms. This episode of Dray Hatchet Moms. Put social media on Instagram. If that makes you feel bad, if it makes you feel inferior or not good looking enough or not thin enough, stop following all these gorgeous people. Follow Except us. If that's us. <laughs> We actually went to this talk about uh, toxic perfectionism and we just thought that sort of Instagram stars as we are, yes. YouTube sensations, yeah. uh, we should put our fork in it. As parents we often try to be perfect and it's obviously it's impossible but there's such a kind of myth around motherhood and parenthood and, and there's very little room for movement within that. In it, yeah. And that's basically one of the reasons why we started this uh, channel. And tell me, why is uh, perfectionism bad and why is it bad for you? Well, for personally, not that I know how to use all the filters and editing and photoshopping on my photos, but if I could, I probably would. <laughs> <laughs> there is one of those on Facebook you get, oh, press this button and see what you would look like if you were a Hollywood star and you, you oh. press it and you're like, oh. Yeah, but it's, it's not a real person. better. I know, I know. It's not easy getting older. It's not easy becoming a mother and your body changing in so many ways. And um, one of the th one of the things that I, I thought was nice that was stop being a victim, stop mm -hmm. making yourself a victim, stop reading uh, glossy magazines if they make you feel like shit. Stop hoarding small clothes that you haven't fit in like five years. Uh, who because you nobody does that. What do you mean? And it's it's just about what kind of signal are you um, are you sending to yourself if you are like, oh, I'm gonna try to fit into this mm. um, size whatever fucking extra small jeans, and you don't, and you just feel like a fat cow. Put social media on Instagram. If that makes you feel bad, if it makes you feel inferior or not good looking enough or not thin enough, stop following all these gorgeous people. Follow Except us. us. We're going to make you feel good about yourself. Yeah. <laughs> One thing that I uh, that struck a chord with me was uh, learning to self-validate rather than looking for validation mm. from other people. What does that mean? Well, it means like allowing yourself to say, well done, that was good, not always expecting or waiting for somebody else to say that to you because they're not going to. And I think also it means that you you know your self esteem is in your hands. Mm. Nobody else can make you feel good about yourself. You have to do it yourself. Absolutely. And then if you've learned to self validate and then you do get a compliment, you might even believe it. We we're kind of thinking about the whole thing from the point of view of being a mum and how we're raising our children. Like what kind of example do we give them? One of the examples obviously is like you shouldn't talk about how fat you feel or how wrinkly you feel or whatever in front of your children because that will set them up mm. um, with a, with that kind of body image. And interesting, we actually had a um, our first parents evening this week and the teacher, teacher said that Noah is very self-aware. So if there is something that he thinks that he might not do perfectly at first time, he won't really even try. And I started thinking, am I, to blame because if I think about myself, it's basically my parents told me that I was the bee's knees, that I was the best and I could get anything in this world that I wanted, which of course is complete bollocks. Yeah. And then I started <laughs> thinking, what do I say to Noah? And I say to Noah, you're the best, you're the funniest, you're the most beautiful, you're just the best all round boy in the world, which isn't helping. No, it's going to make him a top, total twat. <laughs> Stop doing that. <laughs> One thing that was came out in this talk as well is the seeing every failure as a learning point, as, yeah. a, as a chance to to get better. Yeah. So stop beating yourself yeah. up. Because How great! Yeah. Now you can try again and be, you know, better. Be better. Yeah. Stronger. Yeah. Thinner. <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> try again. Go to the gym. Work out harder. And obviously, after the event, we booked a <laughs> session of Botox. <laughs> And another thing that I thought was quite good was um, stop weighing yourself every morning. <laughs> no, you're not going to stop doing that. And I, I, I actually have stopped doing that a little while ago because the bathroom uh, scales the battery ran out. So it wasn't and, really, yeah. And because I'm not a perfectionist, I haven't fucking got a new battery. It was like two years ago. Oh. So it's just like gathering dust there in the bathroom. <laughs> I 
I did squeeze myself into my leather trousers. Mm. It's apparently a mummy fail in, in its own right, but I did wear my leather trousers and, um, and I popped the button. Bottom, not the bottom, <laughs> the button. The button came off. Um, so basically you sat down and button went bing, bing. <laughs> And then I also keep hoisting them up, put my, put my fingers into the hoops and hoist them up and then I ripped one of them as well. Um, Are you going to abandon? No, I'm not. I'm just going to go to the gym a bit more. Or get like a size bigger. That would be and, and happy. Yeah, accepting that. So I learned a lot from this talk. Well, I, I learned that. Uh, I learned nothing. <laughs> we had the first parents evening this week. I forgot. I had a full on day at work and it's just slipped my mind. And Ben called me like 10 minutes before the parents evening. He said, where are you? I'm like, I'm at work. Why? It's like, well, you're supposed to be a parents evening. So I jumped into a cab and said to the taxi driver, drive, drive, get me like, there. <laughs> in a movie. And the taxi driver's like, well, the traffic's really bad. Which way do you want me to go? And I'm like, you the taxi driver, go. So. Yeah, I was there five minutes late. I can't believe his first parents' evening. I mean, I'm sure there's many to come that I'm going to forget. But you would think that I would have remembered the first one. Ooh. Anyway, bad mum, fat mum. <laughs> hey, if you like that, come back for our, our Botox episode <laughs> and find out what it feels like to be perfect. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.